Nick is the product marketing manager for Surf Build and Ultraspan, and is also the project leader for e-commerce in the whole organization. Uh, working with cross departmental teams uh, to make the products, uh, to make the projects meet uh, the expected outcomes. So, if a customer today wanted to buy a building solution products, we We've been able to factor that into the consumer journey so that they are able to find it as easy as possible. Now, the other thing that we've done is that we've developed the design uh, that we're currently we are. And the design is being shared across the group of companies so that people can give their input at this juncture before we start developing it for the other different countries. We've started with the MRM. And the reason we started with the marine is because we want to quickly pick up the learnings before we roll to the other countries. Those learnings will help us make it easier and better for the other countries. And most of the things that need to be corrected, we have some ample time to be able to sort that out before we roll out. The other thing is that MRM is bigger in terms of the group companies. So it gives us an opportunity to actually test the concept before we move to the other countries. We have a cross-departmental team and, and the reason that we set a cross-departmental team is so that we just don't have this driven from a marketing perspective. We need people from finance and we have Frank who is leading and ensuring that we stick to the SOPs of finance. We have somebody from customer service, that is Taina. We have somebody from SAP, that is Audrey. We have somebody from um, sales both distribution and um, service center, and that is Jared Maneno. And then we have Rita from a marketing perspective, and we have John, John Karanja from logistics. Basically, the team is made up so that the different elements of the project come together at once, because this is a channel that we're building. For us to build this channel, it, it, it cuts across all departments and it's a new channel for us. So we need the people looking at the different departments to look at it and ask themselves, if I was seated here and I was interacting with this, how can it work for me? How can I bring in the SOPs that I know from my department into the project so that the project is successful? The other thing that we did is that we have a steering committee and the steering committee is made up of heads of department where we meet and we are able to escalate decisions or problems or escalate things that we need help on so that they are able to guide us on what we need to do. Um, the team focus is actually to deliver the project by Go Live on 1st of February. Now, I as a team leader, my role is to guide them and ask for the different things that we need in, from the different departments so that the whole becomes easier and smoother to deliver the project. We, we normally find that sometimes projects have been done from this angle of it's only marketing that is leading. Then nobody else has visibility on what is going on. Then when you go live, what do people say? People say they actually didn't know that you were working on this project. So that's one of the things we needed to address. The other team that I have is in country teams, where I'm working with the marketing teams who have formed teams in their own countries who are also leading this project. We involve them as early as now, so that by the time we get into their countries, which is next year towards mid or next year, they are way ahead. And they have thought about it, they have discussed it internally, they have given feedback, they are involved, and will be able to roll much, much easier. Now, when it comes to um, the, the team, the other team members that we currently are working with is Lincoln and John. And the reason that they are integrated is because they have done these kind of projects before. So they're also giving us um, you know, guidance and advice on how we can deliver. We've structured the project in three phases. Phase one is MRM. MRM goes live on 1st of February. After that, the second phase is to do the dealer portal, which is now from March to round about June, and then from there we do roll out to the other countries. So the other countries are definitely involved. We are looking at um, Uganda, we are looking at Tanzania, we are looking at South Africa, we are looking at Rwanda, and we are looking at Ethiopia. Everybody is going to be live by the end of 2021.
No, there is a template. And one of the things that we did by the time we were starting the project is that we discussed the project scope with all the different countries. And we actually discussed the whole project with different departments in the business. So we've gotten feedback from all the business, including coated steel, in steel, and probably people who will not be involved in the first phase in terms of the products that we want to put. So it's 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 a it's um we've incorporated, let me put it this way, we've incorporated everything to start with the MRM so that we have a template that we can use and tweak to roll out to the other countries. So the current one has been discussed with the regions. The regions have given us their input. We've developed one, we've sent it to them. We're waiting for their feedback, which we should be have before the end of this week for us now to agree on the design to move into the back end stage of development. Once that is done, we're good to go. It makes life easier even for the other countries by the time now it comes to rolling out in their markets. For Southbuild, what we actually want to do is that we, own, we want to own the category. And we also want to educate people on what a pre-engineered building is. In essence, we want to change them from doing the brick and mortar and show them there's an easier and faster way for you to do your construction uh, by using Southbuild. So today, we can actually do a building in 10 weeks. And this means that from the day that you pay, in 10 weeks, we will have done for you the building and we'll give you the keys to that building. This will help you start making money from your projects much faster and much easier, which will eliminate these issues about you having to, you know, employ so many different people to undertake your, the building, the construction for yourself. So we are working across the region to ensure that we are aligned on these objectives, that we focus on ensuring that these objectives are shared across the different categories we have for SAF build, which is the warehousing and industrial, the market sheds, the agricultural, which is farming for chicken sheds, cow sheds, we have utility sheds, we have schools, and we have churches. And for SAF build, we want to demonstrate how easy it is for you to actually build and how easy it is for you to actually use MRM accessories and traded items because these are the things that come and bring up your soft build to life.